G'day, Pete Devery here from Dalbora Marine, uh, out on beautiful Sydney Harbour at Castle Rock. And on this wonderful 34 Pirate, uh, it's actually a commercially operable boat, nine offshore, just recently done uh, or been recertified for uh, commercial operation. And we're even lucky to have a very proud owner, Simon, on board to give us a bit of a walkthrough and talk about some upgrades that he's recently performed. Oh, here we are in the back deck where all the work happens. Um, obviously we've caught a lot of fish in this boat, had a great fun over the last 18 months. Um, you can put a fighting chair in if you like to. Um, we've had both and it both works very well. Um, everything again is, is every inch of the boat is maximised. So you've got everything from your live tank here. You can put a round live tank in the middle if you want. We've got plenty of um, live bait tank um, hoses etc and deck washers which you can use for live bait tank. Plenty of rod holders. I've actually put some extra rod holders across the top, just under the life buoy. Um, you've got plenty of storage under here for ropes. You could, have, you could have ice storage if you wanted to, but I've never bothered, but there's plenty of storage under the, under the deck as well. Um, under here, you've got a lift hatcher, emergency bilge, all your wash, deck wash stuff manually. You've got your shore power. You've got a freezer here, which is pretty big. You fit probably 10 slabs of beer in that. And then you've got your, um, your game fishing deck for uh, all, your, all your knives and all your bits and pieces you need there. And then of course you've got your ladders up to your tower, tower's up the top there, the tower's got everything. You've got your um, Funo um, depth and fish finder, um, sat nav, everything's up there. You've got uh, new, ch new chairs, you've actually got some plastics as well for those really cold days. Okay now we're in the, uh, in the main cabin. As it is a sports boat you can actually take the plastics off and you could have a sports type um, cabin, but I've, I've kept it all enclosed. I've actually got the, the new plastics put on. I've got it all double zipped and double um, double insulated, so um, it's pretty much a dry boat now. Especially with the air conditioning into the cabin, it just works a treat uh, for the hot days and even for the cold days. You've got the heater, so it works out really well. Um, now, I've um, got a new custom chair straight in. I'll start at the back and move forward. New custom chair because it's a centre console to get around, so I tried to find the best chair I could it wasn't too wide to get around. We've got new, uh, new covers on the seats either side, plenty of storage under there. There's actually a fridge under this one, so plenty of room for drinks and so on. And there's a heap of storage under there for fishing gear. Uh, this side we've got all our safety, fire and life, life jackets under this side. Obviously the safety stuff, e burbs and your safety rings you've got to have as a survey boat. Um, we've got a new security system put in, so we've got a camera there at the top which gets really good vision through here. We've got another camera on the top of the tower and one at the front. Obviously I didn't put one in the front cabin for privacy. You can sleep there etc. And um, what's really good about this boat is access to the engine. So this lift, this hatch here which we'll show you later, it actually lifts right up to about here. It's lifts right up to about four to five foot high with great access to your two big 480 horsepower Cummings which move, you know, we sit on 20 knots, you can go up to 25, and it's just a, it's a beautiful machine in regards to um, ocean, ocean running, it really w works well. It's got a great hull, deep hull, and with the trimmers, I've been in three metre swell and no dramas, and now I've got the stabiliser in. The stabiliser is a game changer, it is absolutely amazing. Um, in saying that, we've got everything on the, on, the, on the helm here, from you've got sink with your gears, I've got three washers at the front, brand new windscreens, the side windows have all been resealed, those three windscreens at the front are brand new glass, three brand new win window wipers, um, got a stabiliser, we've got the Fusion um, full, full kit which has got um, uh, radar, sat nav, depth finder, the whole lot, it works really well. Uh, the matching uh, autopilot which has been amazing for the long trips, got all your, uh, your bilges, all your lighting, we've got lights at the back, lights on the side, this thing lights up like a Christmas tree, it's actually quite nice at night. Um, it's a bit funky, you've got the bow thruster here, which has been great, it's only a small boat in that regards, because it's got the tower, it's a bit of a sail. So we found it really hard, so I thought bugger it, I'll put it in, so I've got a bow, bow thruster put in. A uh, new spotlight up the top there. This control panel is second to none, it shows you everything on your engine right through to your what each engine's doing, the performance, the fuel usage, the whole lot. So pretty much, um, I'm just under this hatch here, you have your fuel tanks, uh, port and starboard. You essentially have 600 usable litres of fuel at any one time. It does roughly, sitting on full speed, you're doing 90 litres an hour. And with your generator 
I, I allow 100 litres an hour um, for, for, for going, going out for the day. When you're, when you're uh, trawling, obviously you're only doing eight knots, um, and you use bugger oil fuel there. So it's really economical. This thing gets you out there in the shelf in an hour, you're fishing all day, and you come back, and you can get two to three days out of these fuel tanks. It really is um, cheap in regards to the bigger boats and some other engines that you can use. Um, that's pretty much everything there. Um, the hatch at the front here as well, so you've got easy access to the engine if you need it. There's a hatch at the front here, which is also gives you access to all your switches and your fuse box for everything, for the whole boat. It's all there in the one spot, so you don't have to go different areas. This, as I said, this boat's been designed by really switched on guys that know their fishing, know their boats, and they've designed a one hell of a little fishing machine. Uh, hi, we're now below deck, uh, and again, this boat's built by um, expert fishermen at mine with using every part of the boat for storage, etc. So on the front here, on the, on, in the bunk bed uh, area, there's all storage again. Underneath, we've got first aid and storage. An upgraded air conditioner, it's a brand new air conditioner, which is pretty much twice the size of the old one. And we've been able to do an extra extension into the main cabin. So the main cabin's now air conditioned, which is a game changer for the boat. You've got your full electronics here, 12 volt and 24 volt, with all your air conditioning, your generator, everything you need is on that panel and it's all very easy. Just underneath the stairs here, brand new um, battery charger. Uh, so I think it's 90 amps, so it's uh, more, than, more than you could ever want. Uh, fishing rod holders all through the roof, through the ceiling, sorry. Uh, the main bed at the front, again, heaps of storage. We've got life jackets on one side and just storage for bedding, etc. on the other. And of course, access to your bow thruster, which you've got at the front. Uh, brand new smart TV and you've got the stereo system. The smart TV can actually get un unwound and put on the top deck here. So while you're trawling, you can watch the races or the footy. Um, into your kitchen area, heaps of storage again. There's cabinets on both sides. Um, in this side, we've got the security system with the uh, internet and cameras, etc. for your um, online. I've got it actually connected to my app on my phone, so it's pretty, pretty handy. Microwave, stove, great fridge, um, and again, plenty of storage. And then you've got the helm here for the uh, toilet here. It's got a full shower, toilet, bathroom. Well, hope you enjoyed that uh, little walkthrough and it was of some insight and value to you. Please uh, just reach out and contact us at Dalbora Marine for further information. Look forward to hearing from you.